this will be my first video on the document outline. If you don't know what the document outline is, um, essentially it's a table of contents for your web page. And there's a way of doing this in code using headings, which again forms a document outline. There are six headings um, you can use from one to six. Um, and h1 being the highest, like I say, it's going to be what would describe the function of that page. So, I mean, let's even just look here now. Um, h1, so they have made that a h1. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say this is um, descriptive, and, and I'll get into why that it needs to be descriptive now, but this is essentially the h1, and there should only be one h1 on the page, and I'm guessing this would be a h2, because it's associated, there we go, h2, and then already you can see there that we've got a h3 because this heading is associated with this h2. And what happens then, the next h1 you see, because a web page will read the document from top to bottom, when we see another, if we see a h4, we know that that h4 is associated with this h3. But what I'm gonna guess right now is that we jump straight into a h2, it breaks it out of the flow breaks out the flow of this build section and launches us back in <laughs> launches us back into the launch section which again would be a h3 um, these could actually be h4s so let's have a look at that there so they are h3s again so um, what they're saying is that this heading is to do with launch this heading is to do with launch 99% of time is to do with launch it's all associated and then once again we break out of that current section that current chapter if you will and then we've we've broken back out by having a heading two and then a, its own set of h3s now a h1 will be rendered bigger than a h2 and just because a heading isn't the correct size you don't go making it a h1 just because it's too small what you do you use the controls within webflow to make it the size that you want it, it is a h2 if it needs to be a h2 you leave it as a h2 and you use styling to then change the look and feel of it so now we get into kind of um, why you would create why you need to create headings what's the what's the big idea from a coding standpoint and a computer standpoint google actually uses headings to understand your page and what it's about but you're giving your website the best chance of of survival if you use headings correctly and allowing google to understand your page so the, the other aspect of that is, is these are really good places to put keywords in um, about your website. So if you want to rank specifically for web design, you want to make sure that web and design and, and graphics and sketch or whatever tool, you want to make sure these types of words are kind of sneaking their way into, into these uh, headings because it's a good way to rank for SEO particularly the h1 which is why i don't think this is necessarily a good h1 code is probably the best keyword there but nothing really nothing here makes sense the third uh, most important thing is screen readers so if there are disabled users coming onto a website or just just people using um, a, sc a screen recorder which announces and reads out the text because let's say for example they're blind um, they can choose to navigate your website using just the headings I've worked with um, disabled uh, users to try and understand how they use websites better and a lot of them they do they, they quickly just scan through the page um, just using headings to understand is this the site it, do I want to read anything more um, on this page so it's really good for accessibility as well and, and really you know across the board these three things are the main reasons why you want your code to be um, correct and written correctly. This episode was taken from a longer episode entitled The Document Outline. So if you want to dig a little bit deeper, then I suggest you check out that episode. If you're interested in hearing more about Webflow and the underlying code that happens, then please subscribe to my channel. I release episodes every single week. Cheers.